Okay, so this is an amount of substance question and it also relates to some practical skills. Um, I recommend you have a go at the five marker here, the calculation. There's also a definition to do. There is a part B as well, so pause when you get to that one as well. And once you've tried both of those sections, then carry on through the video and see how you've done. And you get an idea of how successfully you could tackle this in an exam and whether it's something that potentially you need to go back and review. So when you're ready, start the question. And now have a go at part B. Okay, so the question itself here, we've got lots of information in this table that we need to try to start to work out where we're going to use it. But I'm hoping the fact that the R is there is a big giveaway that we're dealing with ideal gas equation. Um, to start off with, I'm going to calculate the mass of Y that was used. I can look at what the syringe was um, after the injection and before the injection, and I can see that 0.21 grams of Y were used. Now, to do the ideal gas equation, I would always recommend you write out the five different sections and put the figures down. It's that systematic route through that's going to help you to avoid any of the common pitfalls that people make. So I'm going to go through and I've colour coded so you can see where these numbers come from and I've written them down. But my next step after I've systematically written down these is to go through and work out which units are incorrect and which I therefore need to change. Now, there's actually three of them on this one. I need to convert my pressure to pascals, my volume to meters cubed, and my temperature to kelvins. Kelvin. So I've now done that, and I can calculate N. So I write out my expression. N is PV over RT, and I can put those figures in. Once I've done that, I'm able to calculate my molar value, 2.81 by 10 to the minus 3. And you'll remember way back at the start of this question, you worked out the mass of Y. We now know the moles of Y. So we can work out the MR. And I put those figures in. And I end up with an MR of 74.7. The final part of this question was actually the first thing that was asked. And it's a straightforward definition. Not a lot to say here. You simply need to learn and remember it. Um, weighted average mass of one molecule relative to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon-12 is the definition for relative molecular mass. On to part B, and we're on to practical skills here. How would this problem affect the value of MR? Well, a lower volume would be recorded if the gas did not evaporate. And I've written down the molar equation here, but I'm going to rearrange it to include M and MR, because what you can then see is the relationship between MR and V. If my volume is lower, that's going to mean a greater MR would be recorded. 